the top minds already are thinking about how to prevent the, another bridge from happening like what happened, a collapse. Yeah, that requires taking a look at the structure of the key bridge and whether it could have been built better. WMAR 2 News' Elizabeth Worthington spoke to engineering experts at Johns Hopkins today. She joins us live from Dundalk. Elizabeth, what have you learned? Yeah, Mallory and Kelly, I know my first thought when I saw that video was just how does that happen? How does a bridge collapse that quickly? And can it happen again? Well, one engineering expert we talked to from Johns Hopkins says he doesn't look at it as a bridge that collapsed, but rather a bridge that was destroyed. It's a natural question to wonder. Could this have been avoided? This place, the whole bridge just fell down. According to the Federal Highway Administration's National Bridge Inventory, the most recent inspection of the Key Bridge was completed in May 2023. It was rated in fair condition, right in between good and poor. Last year, nearly half of all U.S. bridges found themselves in that fair category. Specifically in the inspection report, the peer protection system was rated as, quote, in place and functioning. Ben Schaefer, structural engineering expert at Johns Hopkins, described the protection system he saw from video and pictures as pretty modest. So it wouldn't really um, make any stop for a cargo ship. Um, something like a small fishing vessel or a pleasure cruise would, would, wouldn't be able to hit the piers directly. Um, uh, but, but no significant system um, directly at the piers. Um, that's that's evidence. But Schaefer doubts that any bridges that have been built or even could be built in the future could withstand a blow from a massive cargo ship. Could we build a, a Fort Knox, uh, you know, a, a nuclear bunker in front of every bridge? Uh, it's it's structurally possible, but it's not economically feasible. Um, and so even in the most extreme uh, bridge protection systems uh, that we see um, at this point, I remain unconvinced that in a similar uh, incident that they would perform successfully. It's difficult to overstate the impact of this uh, collision we're talking about. It's not just as big as a building. It's really as big as a block, uh, 100 thousand tons all going into this pier all at once. Department of Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg pointed to the 1980 collapse of the Sunshine Skyway in Tampa, Florida, saying that since then many modern bridges have been designed with more protective structures in place. The Skyway Bridge now has parts called dolphins. That in the event that you had a, a ship or a vessel that were to go off course, they're there to effectively protect the structure from a collision like the one that we saw in Baltimore. But so far, it's unclear whether any design features could have prevented this. And that will be a question for the National Transportation Safety Board to answer. And the agency did say that all of these questions will be looked at as part of its investigation. And Pete Buttigieg said that today, if the NTSB finds that any changes need to be considered in the design, regulation, even inspection of bridges, his department is ready to apply those findings. In Baltimore County tonight, Elizabeth Worthington, WMAR 2 News.